electricity three resistivity and conductivity resistivity all resistors have some resistance for example a piece of wire has less resistance than a light bulb but both have resistance the higher resistance of the filament that's a small wire in a light bulb causes the electron to transfer a lot of the kinetic energy in the form of heat the heat energy is enough to cause the filament to glow white hot which produces light the wire connecting the lamp to the cells or the battery hardly even get warm while conducting the same amount of current this is because of the much lower resistance due to their large cross-section so what is resistivity the resistivity of a material is a ratio of the magnitude of the electric field e current density j that is the current per unit area so rho equals e divided by j the resistivity of a material can also be defined as the resistance r of a wire of a unit cross-sectional area a per unit length that is rho equals r times a divided by l its si unit is ohms meter where the cross-sectional area a is pi times d square divided by 4 and d is the diameter where r is in ohms a is in square meter l is in meters so we have ohms meter calculate the total dc resistance of a 100 meter roll of 2.5 millimeter square copper wire if the resonance of copper at a given temperature is 1.72 exponential negative 8 ohms meter solution the resistivity of the copper is 1.72 exponential negative 8 ohms meter the coil length is 100 meter the cross-sectional area of the conductor is 2.5 square millimeter which implies that a equals 2.5 exponential negative 6 meter square so using our formula we have r separate of the formula since we're looking for the resistance we say rho times l over a second problem calculate the resistivity of a wire 0.5 meter long with a diameter of 0 0.80 millimeter if its resistance is 2.5 ohms solution rho equals r times a over l which implies that rho equals to r times pi d square divided by 4l since r equals to 2.5 given that the diameter is 0 0.8 millimeters remember we have to convert that into meters and we substitute it into the formula of the cross-sectional area which is a equals to pi d square over 4 then l which is our length is 0 0.5 meters so rho equals to 2.5 times 0 0.8 square times pi times 0 0.5 divided by 4 times 1000 square equals 6.3 exponential negative 7 ohms meter conductivity the conductivity sigma of a material of a unit length l and a unit cross-sectional area a is the reciprocal of the resistivity of the material where conductivity equals to 1 over rho thus the reciprocal of resistivity rho is the conductivity sigma of a given material its si unit is siemens per meter if we have our resistivity rho to be r times a over l or rho equals to r times pi d square over 4l then sigma equals to 1 over rho which implies 4l over r times pi d square let's solve a problem on conductivity Calculate the resistivity of a wire 0.5 meter long with a diameter of 0.8 millimeter. If its resistance is 2.5 ohms, determine its conductivity. Solution 1. Recall that rho equals to r times a over l. 
then the cross-sectional area of the wire is A equals pi D squared over 4 and rho equals 2.5 times 0 0.8 squared times pi times 0 0.5 divided by 4 times 1000 square which equals 6.3 exponential negative 7 ohms meter 2 so with this our conductivity sigma equals 1 over rho so we have sigma equals to 1 over 6.3 exponential negative 7 ohms meter which gives us 1.6 exponential 5 per ohm per meter or 1.6 exponential 5 Siemens per meter let's solve another problem using the meter rule you found the length of a wire to be 0 0.50 meters with a micrometer screw gauge its diameter was 0.5 millimeter if the resistance is 10 ohms using an ohm meter what is the resistivity of the wire to determine its conductivity solution from our formula rho equals r times a over l which implies that rho goes to r times pi d square over 4l the cross-sectional area pi d square over 4 and our resistance is 10 ohms so substituting the value we have rho equals 10 times pi times 0 0.25 exponential negative 3 divided by 0 0.50 so we have 3.9 exponential 6 2 the conductivity would then be 1 over rho which is 1 over 3.9 exponential negative 6 which gives us 2.6 exponential 5 per ohms per meter or 2.6 exponential 5 cements per meter factors affecting resistance first we have the resistivity of the material from which the conductor is made the greater the resistivity the greater its resistance secondly we have the total length of the conductor the longer the wire the greater its resistance third we have the cross-sectional area of the conductor the greater the area the less its resistance and finally we have the temperature of the conductor the resistivity of a metallic conductor increases with increasing temperature as temperature increases the free electron gains more kinetic energy and moves with higher velocity within the volume of the material giving rise to more collision the resistivity of an alloy such as magnesium and constantine is practically independent of temperature the resistivity of gravite a non-metal decreases with increase in temperature first it has a negative coefficient of resistivity however metals have a positive coefficient of resistivity a summary of the effect of temperature on material for pure metals as temperature rises their resistance rises example of this is tungsten or copper two for non-metals e.g. carbon and semiconductors like germanium and silicon the resistance decreases as temperature rises and thirdly alloys such as magnesium and constantine are practically unaffected by temperature change measurement of resistivity one measure a suitable length l of wire such as 100 centimeter with a meter rule two measure the diameter d in several places with the micrometer screw gauge and take the average value 3. Connect the wire to a suitable circuit and measure the resistance R by voltmeter and meter method. 4. Calculate the resistivity rho from the relation R times A over L, which implies R times pi D squared divided by 4L. While conducting this experiment, here are some precautions you should take. 1. Ensure that all connections are tight. 2. Take note of zero errors on all measuring instruments and correct them. If they're proven possible, replace the device. 3. 
keep your key or switch open when not taking readings. 4. Avoid parallax error on measuring devices. And 5. You must repeat your readings. Let's take multiple readings. Question time. Given the resistivity and length of a nichrom wire to be 100 exponential negative 8 ohms meter and 15 meter respectively, if this material was used as a heating element in a hot plate, 1. Find the resistance of the nichrom wire given that its cross sectional area is 2 exponential negative 7 meters square. 2. Assuming that the copper wire of resistivity 1.7 exponential negative 8 ohms meter with length and cross sectional area being the same as the nichrome wire. Calculate the resistance of the copper. 